All right, are you feeling overworked and just overwhelmed on all the stuff you have to do in order to run your business and really just keep building it and being proactive rather than being reactive? Well, then this is the episode for you. Welcome to the Smart Agency Masterclass, where you can legally steal what works and what doesn't, so you know exactly how to build a better agency. And now your host, who once took 16 hours and 20 minutes to complete an Ironman, Jason Swank. All right, so here's what you need to do, because more and more people that I talk with, they're so overwhelmed, and they have so much to do, and entrepreneurs are, are famous for this, because entrepreneurs can do everything, but you have to focus on the big impact items that will actually make a difference. So let me explain, right? So most of the time, let's say you have a client and they're the squeaky wheel. Well, most of the time you're gonna take care of that client because they're making the most noise. You're gonna grease that, that gear so it stops squeaking. But you're going to ignore you know, modifying this piece in the engine that could make you go a, a lot faster. Literally, you just grease the wheel that really is pretty irrelevant. I mean, it really doesn't add any horsepower to the car. Like my analogy I'm using to, you know, cars because I race cars. So you really want to pick what you want to do first. So what I do whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed is I start to make a list of everything that I need to do within that day, that week, or whatever I think everything I need to do. And then I start adding columns to the right of that. Do I need to do this myself? Can I delegate it? Can I use technology, right? And then I start looking at, okay, what can I delegate in technology and, and outsource and delegate? Put that over to the side. I look at the must have list that I need to do. And then I create another little worksheet and I add three columns next to it saying high impact long term, high impact short term, and low impact. And then I go through systematically you know, the, from the first one all the way down to however many I have and rank them. So what I want to do is do the high impact long term first because those are going to provide the most value. Sometimes I'll put the high impact short term first just because let's say I'm in a cash crunch and I need to, you know, get some more money to make sure I pay payroll and stuff like that. I may do that, but I only do the high impact items first and I put aside the low app low impact items. So high impact items versus low impact. High impact are ones that will dramatically change your business, whether it be revenue, saving you time, making you money, that kind of stuff. Low impact are more like um, greasing the wheel that really doesn't need to be greased. It just makes noise. It doesn't make you perform faster. It doesn't make you go faster or anything. You're just squeaking it because it's just kind of annoying. That's kind of like that annoying client that always calls you all the time. So you really want to you know, figure this out. Now I've created a worksheet for you. I've created worksheets for my clients that I send. And if you want this, go to Jason, if you're not watching it on my website, you can go to jasonswank.com slash shit to do. <laughs> All right. And basically you, I'll give you the worksheet that I use, but how you do it is list out everything that you need to get done. Then the column to the right, you list out everything you market. If, is this something I need to do myself to the right of that? Can I delegate it to the right of that? Can I use technology to systemize it? And then once you have that list of everything I need to do that you must do, then I want you to rank it and go to the other worksheet on there that I included. And it's going to say high impact long term, high impact short term, and low impact. And then do the high impact items first. It's kind of like if you had two glasses. I wish I had two glasses right here. If I put 50 pebbles in the first glass, it's going to fill it up halfway. And then if I put a tennis ball on top of those pebbles, it's going to overflow on that glass. Now, if I had on the second glass, I put the tennis ball in first and then the 50 pebbles, the pebbles are going to surround the tennis ball and it's going to be a perfect fit, meaning do the big impact items first. You're doing the wrong stuff first. So go do that. So if you liked this episode, make sure you subscribe on the video or podcast or whatever you're listening to me on because I use all of my content in multiple mediums and you should do the same and I will chat with you soon. Say hello to my cat. This is the same cat that jumped in uh, to my video on the homepage. Say hello socks. 
but I will chat with you soon. Take care.